Most people have no idea that you can answer calls on your Mac, use your iPad as a second screen and a whole lot more. So today I'll show you what the Apple ecosystem is really capable of. Chances are you heard of universal copy and paste before. But here's the thing. It works with photos, videos and documents too. To make this work, you'll need handoff enabled on all your Apple devices. On iPhone and iPad, open settings, head to general, then airplay and continuity. And make sure handoff is switched on. On your Mac, head into system settings, open general and then airdrop and handoff. You'll see it right at the top. And next time your iPhone rings, you can just leave it sitting there. Thanks to this trick, any call that comes to your iPhone will also appear on your Mac, ready for you to pick it up without touching your iPhone. You can even make calls right from your Mac, either from the contacts app or by highlighting any phone number and selecting call. To turn this on, open the settings app on your iPhone, scroll all the way down to apps, tap it, then find and select the phone app. Inside, scroll to calls on other devices. Turn on allow calls on other devices and right underneath you can pick exactly which device to use. On your Mac, open the FaceTime app, click FaceTime in the menu bar, choose settings and turn on calls from iPhone. That's it. Quick tip, you can switch to another Apple device in the middle of a call. Let's say you're on a FaceTime call. On your Mac, a menu will appear that lets you move the call over to the Mac. And if you want to switch to the iPad, that works too. Just tap the icon in the dock and the call will switch to the iPad. And with the setting we just enabled, this even works for regular phone calls. Pretty handy, right? The same thing also works in messages. In settings, scroll all the way down to apps, then look for iMessages and tap it. From there, scroll a little further down and you'll find text message forwarding. Make sure your Mac is selected. Quick tip, if you scroll up a bit and tap send and receive, you can choose which address you want to use for receiving iMessages and which one you want to start new conversations with. Lost your iPhone? Most Apple users know you can ping it with this icon. But did you know, if you hold it, the flashlight on the iPhone also turns on. Imagine you're locked into an article in Safari on your Mac and suddenly nature calls. Just open the app switcher on your iPhone and tap the banner at the bottom. And you are right there where you left in Safari. It's the same with notes, reminders, maps and messages and even many third party apps as long as you've got them on both your iPhone and your Mac. When you come back and you are still in Safari, you will notice the Safari icon with a little iPhone symbol at the far right of your Mac stock. Tap it and the Safari page from your iPhone instantly opens on your Mac. And for the record, this feature also works on iPad. But it gets even better with iPad. Did you know that you can work across Mac and iPad with just a single keyboard and a mouse or trackpad? On your Mac, go to System Settings, open Display, click on Advanced and turn on Allow your pointer and keyboard to move between any nearby Mac or iPad. On the iPad, make sure that in Settings on the General and airplay and continuity. Cursor and keyboard is turned on. And with that, you can even drag and drop files from one device to the other. You can even turn your iPad into a completely wireless second display. On Mac, go into system settings, tap displays, and from there, click the plus sign to pick your iPad. The iPad instantly turns into a display with sidebars and a bottom bar that give you different controls you can tap on. If you go back into settings and tap the iPad on the displays, you can use the use as option to make the iPad your primary display or to mirror your Mac's display onto the iPad. You can also do this right from the menu bar, either with the icon there or by opening the control center and using the same icon. From that icon you can also turn the feature off again. Unhappy with the video quality on a call? The next tip got you covered. Whether it's a FaceTime, Teams or Zoom call, you can select your iPhone as the camera under camera. Sometimes it needs a second to settle in and work smoothly. Once that's set, tap the green icon in the menu bar. From there, you can center the frame on your face, choose the camera zoom level, and if you're not using the 1x or 0.5 camera, you can also pan the frame around. Below that, you can turn on center stage, portrait, 
studio light and reactions. You can also go to background and pick a background. Using the same path, you can select your iPhone's microphone for the call as well. But let's push it further and make the most of the iPhone and iPad cameras. For example, on your Mac, right click in the folder and go down to import from iPhone or iPad. Here you can take a photo, scan a document or create a sketch with your iPhone. And it appears instantly on your Mac. The same works with your iPad and in almost any app or let's say you open a PDF with the spacebar which brings up quick look. In quick look tap the markup tool at the top right then tap the pen icon again and choose your iPhone or iPad. Let's pick iPhone and the document opens right there on your phone. You can highlight text, underline, add a signature and more all in real time. When you are done just tap done. Okay time to add the Apple Watch because it can unlock your Mac in a snap. On your Mac go to system settings, scroll down a bit to touch ID and password and at the bottom turn on Apple Watch Elias. Now whenever you're near your Mac with your Apple Watch unlocked you'll be signed in right away. Here are four short and easy Apple ecosystem tricks worth knowing. If you pull down control center on your iPad or iPhone and tap the screen mirroring icon you can mirror your screen to your Mac or Apple TV. To hand off the music you're playing on your iPhone to a HomePod, just bring your iPhone close to the HomePod and it transfers instantly. You can locate any of your Apple devices from another one. Staying with the HomePod, just say where's my iPhone and your iPhone will ping. And if there's no one around to snap a photo for you, just open the camera app on your Apple Watch and take the shot from there. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.